Good evening YouTube, it's um, October the 20th something, October the 24th, um, I've just had an amazingly wicked thought about comets, and um, it's just such, such an amazing thought. I think I might have to give some thanks to Humpty Dumpty Humpty Dumpty tribe, a YouTuber who doesn't get that many views, but does some good talks. Um, he gets even less views than me, <laughs> and that's that's saying something. But um, anyway, he was talking about some space alien stuff hiding on the far side of the moon, but I was thinking about something else. But you know, sometimes these things get triggered. All right. So um, yeah, this is this could be a big one. It really could. Uh, right. Okay. Comets. Right. What do we know about comets? Elliptical orbit. And um, rare, apparently. Well, they used to be rare, but have got pretty common lately. Now, suppose this. Many star systems in the galaxies are binary star systems. We know that. And you'll probably know what I'm on about with the Nibiru theory. That That is a mini solar system. And I say mini because I assume it's a smaller star. So... It still could have just as much planets around it as our solar system. Anyway, so if we are in a binary star system, how about this? Comets are objects that orbit both the stars in the binary system. Right? Because if you think about it, compared to the nearest star, solar, other solar system, say Sirius, four, four, mil, uh, four light years away, that's pretty far. So you've got these two stars going around each other here, and then over here is the nearest star. So objects, are, are, you know, possibly going to form, orbit these two systems orbit them as one and, but as these if our one if our sun is quite a lot bigger than the other sun it might be quite an elliptical orbit like this so that would really you know the, the comets then or things orbiting these two objects um, would have elliptical orbits if it's right I could have been the first, but who cares? Okay, just a community of knowledge. Let's just share it out. So, but that's a, a possibility, isn't it? And, um, you know, we've had a lot of comets lately. I mean, Elenin wasn't long ago. Halibut wasn't long ago. So what about us as these um, other solar systems getting closer? with our sun I fucking pause this okay I've drawn a little picture right It's all backwards for some reason. Right, up here is, say that's Nibiru in its solar system, and that's the sun in its solar system. This is how they would orbit each other, <coughs> those circles. So Nibiru would be more elliptical, and the sun would just sort of move around in its circle. Right, so then this is a bit bigger. Okay, so say, 
say on the, this side there's Nibiru with its orbiting pla planets and there's the Sun with its orbiting planets so they say that's Earth now Nibiru itself would probably stay a good distance away from us because as we have up here you know they're they're in probably quite big orbits so what we get is interaction maybe with with one of Nibiru's orbiting planets as perhaps has happened in the past and caused some catastrophic events not saying that's going to happen this time but look if you had objects that orbit in both things as they're getting nearer we're going to see them more frequently and they're going to speed up as well so maybe that's why we're getting a heck of a lot more um, comets and asteroids and um, also all the weirding of the Sun the other planets and our own planet so the increase of comets could be because of that so it's proved you know anyone doesn't believe that we've got a second Sun coming round frankly I don't blame you if you don't believe it because it is quite hard to believe because you'd think we'd know and they're just very good at covering it up is it some reason a dark star is it covered in a cloud chemtrails so anyway more evidence to support this second sun thoroughly okay Bye-bye.